Man, if you were a bully in school and you used to pick on kids and call them nerds, you're looking all kinds of stupid now. Because those nerds didn't just grow up and get good jobs and make piles of money. They are literally taking over the entire world and crushing anyone who gets in their way. Think about how brilliant these tech monopolies are. They went full kingpin. They spent years getting everyone addicted to their platforms. Come join us, everyone. It's fun. All your friends are here. Your whole family is here. All are welcome. All are welcome. Come get your affirmations and your endorphins on our platform. Then, once the free samples got you hooked, they started raising the prices, just like crack dealers. Look, if you want to keep getting your fix, you're going to have to agree to say only what I tell you to say. By early 2021, they are pimping their users like a pimp pimps hose. I'm Cracker Jack Dorsey. The green is for the money. The gold is for the honey. And you better get my money or Jack Dorsey is going to have to choke a bit. The New York Times reports. Parler, a social network that pitches itself as a free speech alternative to Twitter and Facebook, is suffering from whiplash. Over the past several months, Parler has become one of the fastest growing apps in the United States. Millions of President Trump's supporters have flocked to it as Facebook and Twitter increasingly cracked down on posts that spread misinformation and incited violence, including muzzling Mr. Trump by removing his accounts this past week. By Saturday morning, Apple listed Parler as the number one free app for its iPhones. But by Saturday night, Parler was suddenly fighting for its life. Fighting for its life? But people who were fed up with Facebook and Twitter were flocking to Parler. How could it suddenly be fighting for its life? Apple, Google, and Amazon present how to destroy your budding competition in two simple steps. First, Apple and Google removed the app from their app stores because they said it had not sufficiently policed its users' posts, allowing too many that encouraged violence and crime. Then, late Saturday, Amazon told Parler it would boot the company from its web hosting service on Sunday night because of repeated violations of Amazon's rules. Amazon's move meant that Parler's entire platform would soon go offline unless it was able to find a new hosting service on Sunday. It's been pointed out in various interviews that finding a new hosting service and transferring all of the data from the Amazon service to the new service with a day's notice would be impossible. So this was just an execution. Big tech really wants to kill competition, John Mates, Parler's chief executive, said in a text message. And I have a lot of work to do in the next 24 hours to make sure everyone's data is not permanently deleted off the internet. In a statement online, Mr. Mates added that the tech giants had acted in a coordinated effort to completely remove free speech off the internet. Parler, he said, would probably be unavailable on the internet for up to a week starting at midnight on Sunday. But, he went on, the company had prepared by not relying on Amazon's proprietary infrastructure and was looking for a new hosting provider. A day earlier, Parler appeared poised to capitalize on growing anger at Silicon Valley in conservative circles and was even a logical choice to become Mr. Trump's next megaphone after he was kicked off Twitter. Now, its future is looking bleak. Oh, it's looking bleak, all right. Because once you're blacklisted by Google, Apple, and Amazon, no one wants to come anywhere near you. They, they, they made an attempt to not only kill the apps, but to actually destroy the entire company. And it's not just these three companies. Every vendor from, um, from text message services to email providers to our lawyers all ditched us, too, on the same day.
So we've been noticing for a long time that Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube are becoming increasingly tyrannical, relying more and more on their trust and safety teams, aka the thought police, to bully their users into total intellectual and psychological submission. We've always been told, well, if you don't like it, just go to another platform. But now we know that if a bunch of users decide to go to another platform, Google, Apple, and Amazon, a triumvirate that makes Julius Caesar, Pompey the Great, and Crassus look like the Three Stooges, can Thanos snap your platform out of existence. Think about the message that Google, Apple, and Amazon just sent to the world. We are here to control you. If you don't want to be controlled, feel free to go nowhere, because there's nowhere for you to go. These companies are like, if the world's worst psycho stalker ex-boyfriend lawnmower manned himself into the internet and could suddenly stalk everyone. If you haven't been keeping a record of your thoughts, now is a good time to start writing a diary or a journal, because future generations are going to wonder how we let this happen.